Hey guys, we're going to be talking about Five Nights at Freddy's today, and I have something to show you. We are going to be talking about Foxy today, okay? And look what I found in the floor. Outside ones. Five Nights at Freddy's. Dot F five N Nights A at F Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's. And it looks like Foxy from the hook. It looks like someone forgot to put the legs. But this is a copy because it was all soggy and all that. I'm surprised I got to copy it. I, don't, I threw out the other copy because it was all soggy and it was dripping in my bedroom. But yeah, come on. We are going to be watching a Fun It's a Freddy's video. About Foxy. Hey guys, it's Mike here. You may be wondering, what is up guys, it's Mike here, and today I'm going to be showing you the top 10 facts real. about Foxy Talk in about Five Nights at Freddy's. The idea for this video was suggested by YouTube user Cordelia Reynolds, so when thanks. Get, so up number 10 is that we can actually determine this... Foxy's height using some simple mathematics. We know that the height like of the average piece of paper is about 11 ago? inches, so if we take this Me, image of Foxy running past the hallway, and we take the height of one of the papers on the wall, Foxy. and compare it to Foxy's head, we can calculate that his head is roughly 16 it's, inches and so then if we take this talking. picture of Foxy standing in the parts and service room in the second game as reference we can compare the proportions of his head to the rest of his body to calculate that he is about 56 inches tall or 4.6666 feet and for fact number nine is that Foxy is hands down the most beloved animatronic in the whole series. If you don't believe me, just go do a quick Google search and notice the sheer amount of fan art, videos, and fan fiction that people made for Foxy. It is staggering. So why do people love Foxy so much? Well, my explanation for this is that, first of all, he looks much less creepy and uncanny than the other animatronics. Second of all, he's also kind of the underdog. I mean, he's, you know, all scrapped up, he's isolated, and he is sort of discontinued. So yeah, that kind of makes him more badass, you know, and also, finally, he's a freaking pirate. And F number eight is that we can determine that Foxy's speed is about 13.7 meters per second, aka 45 feet per second. How do we know this? Well, the average width of a door is about 40 inches, and Foxy, of course, runs past the door in the hallway. And so if we compare that, uh, and since uh, Foxy takes about one second to run through the hallway, we can come up with this number, which of course is 13.7 meters per second. And F number seven is that when the first game came out, most people believed that Foxy was responsible for the bite of 87. However, when the second game came out, a lot of evidence pointed against that. First of all, Foxy was discontinued in the second game, and he was kept mostly in the back room, which would have made it very hard for him to bite a child. And second of all, but that is Foxy a lie. Did a Foxy did not child, bite anyone. Uh, that would have meant that the whole line of old animatronics it would have been discontinued. It was Golden However, Freddy course, who they did. Weren't, and it was the toy animatronics that got discontinued, which means that the one who uh, caused the bite was probably one of them. And then for fact number six is that there is a very very popular theory that Foxy might actually be a good guy. And this sort of ties into fact number nine, which is that, you know, of course, almost everybody loves Foxy. But yeah, See, he may be a good guy, so he would never bite Foxy a child. When Foxy you, he doesn't actually jump in your face like all the other animatronics. Instead, he just Why kind of leans don't? in through the doorway and screams, which know? according to the theory is caused by a malfunctioning Why voice box, don't? after which the player dies dead? due to a heart attack instead of actually Toy being Bonnie killed by Foxy. And then for fact number five is that even though a lot of people believe that Foxy's job there's only one piece of evidence that points to the contrary. If you look at well, Foxy's jump scare animation video. in the first game and you pause at the very beginning, you will see that his jaw is actually closed right before opening it to do the jump scare. And so he actually has control over his jaw. And it's not permanently stuck open like a lot of people believe it to be. And then for fact number four is, uh, this could be actually a bug on Scott's part, but in the very first game, in the very first night, Foxy can technically attack you. If you don't check the cameras for about a minute, it is possible that Foxy will actually uh, start running towards you and jump scare you. And this is actually kind of weird because in the very first night, the phone guy doesn't mention Foxy to you, and only mentions him in the second night. And we all know, of course, that the phone guy acts as your tutorial. 
And then for fact number three is that you can technically stop Foxy in mid animation while he's jump scaring you by running out of power. And uh, yeah, you can see this happen in Markiplier's fail compilation video. Oh, that's new! Ah, power cut off Foxy's little entrance there! So yeah, that is the only occurrence that I know of uh, recorded on video, uh, but of course it does prove that it is possible. But of course, don't ever try to rely on it because it does require a millisecond uh, lock timing. And then for fact number two is that many people believe yeah. that Foxy is actually based on the Foxy Colleen character from Showbiz Pizza. They both obviously have a lot of similar traits. I mean, they obviously have the exact same name and also both foxes and they have very similar ears and just generally have a very similar uh, physical appearance. But they do also obviously have a few differences. For example, in the game, Foxy is a pirate, unlike Foxy Colleen, and Foxy is a male, while Foxy Colleen is a female. So yeah, obviously I'm not saying that they're the exact same, just that Scott probably took inspiration from Foxy Colleen. Scott is and a now creator. finally for fact number one, I was actually quite surprised. If you guys don't know, this. Scott that is a creator. Foxy can actually sing, and you can actually hear him sing sometimes in the first game. From what I know, there doesn't seem to be any way to uh, make him sing. It, it seems to be just completely random. But when he does sing, here's what he sounds like. <laughs> and we know it's him because the audio gets louder when you activate the Pirate Cove camera. But anyway, thank you for watching my top 10 facts about Foxy video. Uh, if you played this part in the video, thank you so much, I really appreciate it. And otherwise, why not subscribe for more? So guys, it's paused. Okay, guys, as you guys know, I already showed you this video, and as you know, Foxy does talk. He only says dum dee dee dum 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 as you heard, but, yeah. Now, what did you have to say? You know, do you know Five Nights at Freddy's 2, guys? Do you know how Bonnie, Toy Bonnie jumps, and Foxy sometimes doesn't jump? Yes. You guys, me and Azel know that. Cause me no, and Foxy doesn't jump at all in Final Fantasy Freddy's 1. Or 2. No. Oh, y yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes in 2 and sometimes in... Yeah. He, sometimes in 2. But 1, he doesn't jump at all. And as you heard there, Foxy may be a good guy. And there's no way he would bite a kid. And Azel Again, we consume it's Golden Freddy. Yes, yeah, so obviously it's Golden Freddy. I like because the kid's older brother shoved his ki his brother into Golden Freddy's head, and then Golden Freddy bit his head off. As you guys know that, probably I don't think you would. But doesn't this look like Foxy? Look at his hook right there, and then his ear. And the eyes and the nose. No, the rest doesn't look like it. But that's all. And then you can tell because Five Nights at Freddy's. And next like, really. episode, we're going to be talking about... The okay, Foxy. I'll tell you what we're going to be doing on the episodes. What we're going to be doing is... um. The next video, we're going to be talking about Foxy. And then after that video, we're... We're going to be doing, like, doing a video of the marionette. The mar the, after that video, we're going to do a talking about the marionette. Then we're going to do a video of the marionette. Then we're going to, I mean, the bloom boy. Then we're going to talk about bloom boy. Okay? And then maybe Freddy after that. Maybe we're going to do all the animatronics. Then we're going to talk about sister location after all the Final of Freddy's. Okay? See ya. We'll see you in the next Bye. video.